Hey guys, Joe Sedota here. Thanks for stopping by for another video. I wanna talk about gear today and specifically when you should upgrade your gear and why and how do you know if you should? I wanna talk about that right now. So when it comes to gear, is more more or is less more? Well, I think that depends on your level of expertise. If you're just getting started and you're buying piece of gear A and then piece of gear B and you're routing it from this thing to that thing, well, you might be confused as the signal flow and how things are getting from point A to point B. And so in that case, extra gear might just make things more complicated. So let's talk about microphone for a second. What if you are really trying to improve your sound, should you improve your interface first or your microphone first? Well, my opinion is you should upgrade your mic first. Nowadays, interfaces are so pristine and clean, they don't really color the sound. Now, for some people, that's a downside, but for you, just getting started maybe, that's an upside because that thing is not gonna color your sound, which means it's gonna allow the characteristics and the tonalities of whatever mic you use come through. So you're gonna get much better impact on the quality of your sound if you upgrade your mic before upgrading your interface. Okay, now let's talk about mic pre's. Maybe you're happy with the mic that you have, but you feel like the mic pre that's on your interface isn't quite giving you enough color and you want some of that analog tone. Well, then buying an external mic pre might be just the ticket you need, but which mic pre? Gosh, you could spend $200, you could spend all the way up to $2,000. You could get some inexpensive eight channel mic pre that plugs into ADAT and expand your system that way, or you could get like a Neve 1073 at $1,000 a channel. You're gonna get what you pay for, so just know that going in. Doesn't mean that you have to spend $1,000 or $2,000, but if that is what you think is lacking, then that is a great way to enhance the sound by adding an external mic pre. So you've got all this high-end gear now, right? You've got your mic and your interface and you've got maybe an external mic pre, maybe even a compressor. But what about your speakers? The speakers are kind of your, your window to the world of what you're mixing. And if your speakers aren't putting out a full spectrum of sound, then that means you're not hearing the full spectrum of sound. So what, what if there's something wrong at say like 35 hertz, but you're not hearing it? Or there's something that's too sibilant way up at 16K, but you're not hearing that either because your speakers don't go that high. That's why a good set of speakers will make such a big difference. I know it's tough nowadays, but maybe try and get to a store if you're near a guitar center or if you're near like a Vintage King or something like that. Go and audition speakers. Take music that you know really well and listen and do a shootout and try and find something that's gonna give you a full spectrum of sound. So with all that said, let's talk about kind of some, some things, the nitty gritty that we need to get down to to help you decide whether or not you should upgrade any of your gear. And first, right out of the box, I think it comes down to inputs. Have you reached the maximum inputs that your interface allows and you need to record more things at one time? Well then obviously, you need to upgrade your interface to something that has more inputs. Maybe you're recording a full band, a drum set, an orchestra, and you need more than two or four or six things. Well then obviously, there's the first place you could upgrade. Maybe you've recently upgraded your computer and you've got some old interface that's like a Firewire connection and your new computer only has Thunderbolt 3. Well, that obviously then is a perfect place to upgrade your interface because it'll you know, be current with what's out today and you won't have to worry about buying adapters and things like that. Still staying on interfaces here, I don't mean to harp on interfaces for too much, but it's obviously like the hub of your whole studio, but maybe the headphone setup on your interface isn't cutting it. Maybe you need more headphone outputs. So you could just go out and get a headphone splitter. That might solve your problem. Or if it's the, the headphone quality is just poor, there's noise, there's a lot of static, well then you might need to research interfaces that have excellent headphone amplifiers. Okay, let's talk about mics again for a second. When should you upgrade your mic? Well, for starters, I'd say when you determine that you just don't like the sound of your mic. I mean, quite simply, if you're recording your voice and you're not happy with your voice, 
Well then try different microphones. You could try things from a SM58 for $99 or you could get a, a Neumann U67 for $8,000, whatever they cost. They're expensive, but the point is try different mics borrow something from a friend, rent something from a mic rental house, and just try different mics until you find something that you really like. I think what it really comes down to is this one question. Are you happy with the quality that you're putting out? If you are, great, then guess what? Don't upgrade, just keep making music, keep working on your craft. You know that I'm a huge supporter of that. But if there's something about the quality of your mixes or your songs that you're not happy with, then really take a deep look into all these things, starting with the microphone into the interface, out of the interface, into your headphones, mic pre's, compressors, you name it, speakers. Decide what it is that's kind of the, the weakest link in the chain and start looking at upgrading that. If you hear anything that I've said in this video, I want you to hear this. Don't get stuck wanting things that other people are hyping up. Maybe it's a, a web page that you've seen, or it's a forum online and social media, or it's a video, or it's an ad. It doesn't matter. That new thing may not be what you need. So don't get stuck on what everyone else is talking about. Get focused on what it is that you're trying to do and what you need and what's gonna make the biggest difference for you. All right, guys, I appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on the next video. If you like this video, then click that like button. I appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel and help support Sedoti Sound. And click that bell if you want to be notified when I release new videos. And of course, you can find me on all sorts of social media, so be sure to check that out. If you'd like to work with me on an upcoming project, then make sure to visit sedotisound.com for more information. All right, guys, thanks a lot.